I said that the United States should rethink its policy of aid toward Israel after she and Congresswoman Tlaib uh, were denied entry. Congresswoman Tlaib was later allowed to come in, but she decided not to. Should there be any change in U.S. aid to Israel? No. And you should see the horrible things that Tlaib has said about Israel. And AOC plus three, that's what I call it. AOC, just take AOC plus three. And you should see the things that the four of them have said about Israel over the last couple of years. I mean, Omar is a disaster for Jewish people. I can't imagine if she has any Jewish people in her district that they could possibly vote for. But what Omar has said, what Talib has said, and then yesterday I noticed for the first time, Talib with the tears. All of a sudden, she starts with tears, tears. And I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a second, because I've seen her in a very vicious mood at campaign rallies, my campaign rallies, before she was a congresswoman. I said, who is that? And I saw a woman that was violent and vicious and out of control. And all of a sudden, I see this person who's crying because she can't see a grandmother. She could see a grandmother. They gave her permission to see a grandmother, but she grandstanded and she didn't want to do it. So that's a decision of Israel. That's not a, a lot of people are saying that was my decision. That's a decision of, of Israel. They can let them in if they want, but I don't think they want to. When you read the things that they've said about Israel, how bad, and if you look at their itinerary before they found out, you take a look at their itinerary, that was all going to be a propaganda tour against Israel. So I don't blame Israel for doing what they did. I have nothing to do with it, but I don't blame them for doing what they did. I think it would have been very bad to let them in, including the four. I'm talking about all four, but these two that wanted to get in, Omar and Tlaib. And I think it would be a very bad thing for Israel, but Israel has to do what they want to do. But I would not cut off aid to Israel. And I can't even believe that we're having this conversation. Five years ago, the concept of even talking about this, even three years ago, of cutting off aid to Israel because of two people that hate Israel and hate Jewish people. I can't believe we're even having this conversation. Where has the Democratic Party gone? Where have they gone where they're defending these two people over the state of Israel? And I think any Jewish people that vote for a Democrat, uh, I think it shows either a total lack of knowledge